Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my girls. Hello. How are you today? Today is the 5th of June. Can you show me five fingers? The 5th of June, 2020. And today is Friday. Can you see what's behind Charlie there? Oh, move there behind. Oh, it's a... It's a snake. Are we learning about snakes today? Yes, we are. Good morning, Rupert. Lovely to have you here with us. We are learning about snakes today. That is so exciting. Can you see the snake? Oh, he looks a bit funny. Hey, say good morning, snake. He's a friendly snake. Hello. <laughs> and a snake is a reptile. Do you remember that? The snake is a reptile. Okay, we're going to go read our story about Sammy Snake. Let's go to our book. Are you ready? Sammy Snake's Star Gazing. Okay, we're learning about the letter S for Sammy Snake. Can you go S like a snake? S Good job. Snammy, Sammy Snake goes to see who does he go and see who's this yes talking tess look into my telescope can you look can you see what do you do with the as telescope what does it do you can look far away sammy snake looks at the stars in the sky can you see his cool telescope wow i can see something he says what do you think it is? I think that's a satellite, says Tess. Satellites send signals around the world. Wow, look at that. Look, Tess, I can see something else, says Sammy Snake. Whatever can it be? What do you think this is? Hey, is it a rocket ship? Yes, okay. Last page. Oh, no, it's a spaceship says Talking Tess, and lots of lovely shooting stars. Can you spot six shooting stars in the picture? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six shooting stars. Okay, that's the end of the story about Sammy Snake. Can you get your paper out for me? We're going to do the letter S. Hello, Hannah. Lovely to have you. Okay, let's get our paper out. Just remember you need your snake for today. Here's my snake. Okay, and you need your Play-Doh. Don't forget your Play-Doh and your scissors. Okay, we're going to start with our letter S. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to start at the top. I want you to try and make us a, a big one. Like this. Big one. Can you draw this for me? S okay. Goes like this, round. Like a snake. S Good. Follow it with your finger. And around. Now, do you have your Play-Doh ready? We are actually going to build this as well with our Play-Doh. Okay. You got your Play-Doh ready? Okay. I want you to make us with the Play-Doh. So, break a little piece off. Okay. Break it off. And then I want you to roll it between your fingers like a snake. We're going to also make our own snakes just now. But first, we're going to make the letter S with our Play-Doh. Look what I'm doing. <gasps> I'm building the S with little snakes. Can you build it with me? Okay. I'm building it. Look what I'm doing. Rub it between. Can you see I'm rubbing it like this? Rubbing it because you want it to go long like a snake. Okay, rub, 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 rub. There we go. Okay, 
Then I want you to build it. Build this with your Play-Doh. Look at that. Okay, I need one more smaller snake. Okay, get your Play-Doh and run. Lovely. I'll show them yours now, Shiloh. Okay, let's go. Can you see? And my s. Did you build your s for me? S. And Shiloh did such a good job. Here is hers. Okay, we both got a s for Sammy Snake. You did a better job than me. Well done. Okay, look at my s. Did you build it? Your s for Sammy Snake. Good job. Do you have some Play-Doh left over? If you do, then we're going to start making some snakes. Okay. Otherwise, if you need to use this Play-Doh again, you can. Okay, let's make a snake. How do we make a snake? Okay, roll it between your hands. Okay, now we're going to roll it. Can you see my hands on top of each other? We're going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, because we want a long sausage, like a snake. Good, very nice, good rolling. Okay, roll, 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 roll. Oh, my snake's getting long. See how long you can make your snake before it breaks. Okay, rolling, rolling, rolling. There's my first snake. Did you make a snake? Okay, and the snake likes to turn like that. Look, there we go. Okay, and if you've got a little pen nearby, you can make, look at my little eyes I'm going to make. <laughs> I made two little eyes in my snake. Oh, I like your snake. Beautiful. You did a s very nice. Good job. Okay, lovely. Would you like to borrow the pen? There we go. Okay, let's make a smaller snake. So we're going to take just a little bit of Play-Doh and we're going to roll it like this, okay? Hands on top. Can you see? If I do it like this... Then I want to make a ball. I don't want to make a ball today. Today I want to make a snake. So we're going to roll like this. Up and down. Okay, can you see? Okay, I'm rolling up. Good job. I'm rolling up between my hands. Very nice. Okay, there's another snake. Okay, I've got two snakes plus my big Sammy snake over here. There's Sammy snake. Okay, let's make another one. Would you like to make a medium? Okay, there's a mommy one. There's a little one. We can make a very tiny one as well. Let's make some more snakes. Roll them between your hands. Roll, roll, roll. Lovely. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and if you want... Now I'm going to put some more eyes in. You can use your pen to even make some patterns on your snake. Look, I'm going to make a whole lot of little spots on my snake. Can you see my spots? I'm just poking the snake. Okay, there we go. He's got lots of spots on his snake. On his skin. Okay, remember snake is cold-blooded. He's a reptile. Okay, there we go. And if you want to, you can make the snake's tongue. What, it, what does the snake's tongue look like? Do you know? I'm going to show you a big version of it. He's got like a forked tongue. Okay, so it's a little piece. Oh, there we go. Shiloh's made a little, a little tongue for her snake. Can you see? Okay, and it's got a fork though. I'll show you at the end here. So I'm going to roll two little pieces. Oh, that's still too big. See, I'm going to use the ends of my fingers. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, it's got a little fork. One fork and on the other side. And then you can make his tongue if you want to. Okay, so there we go. Do you want to go to the close cam and see if you can see it a little bit better? Okay, so that's my forked tongue. Okay, that's what his tongue looks like. 
So I'm going to put it on this one. Oh, there we go. He's got a big, long tongue. Okay, so try and do your, your snake's tongue. There we go. And make sure he's got his eyes. And how do they slither? Do you know? How do they slither? From side to side. Side to side. There we go. Are you making your snakes? Good job. Okay, let's make a baby snake. So we just need a very little bit of Play-Doh between your hands like this, remember? Or like this. Okay. And really, really, really. Oh, can you see? My little snake. I've got a little baby snake. Do you have a little baby snake? There we go. Okay. Do you have still have some Play-Doh left? Let's make some more. Okay, roll it between your hands, make it long. See how long you can make it. There's mine, I'm keep keep going. Rolly, 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 rolly. Good. You guys are working super hard today. Well done. There's my snake. If you want to, you can curl the snake up. Look, I'm curling my snake up. That's how the snakes like to. They, that's when they coil like that. See, they curl up like that. Can you see? Okay, and then you uncurl him. There we go. Okay, let's do his eyes. Because how many eyes does a snake have? How many eyes? Just like us, they have two eyes. Okay, would you like to listen to our snake nursery song? Our rhyme? while we carry on making some more snakes. Okay, listen and learn about the snakes. <laughs> I'm the fascinating snake. I can make you with fear shake. I'm a reptile in tropical regions found. I live in hollows of trees, in grass and sand and seas. I lay my eggs in burrows in the ground. I have a skin covered with scales, it is patterned or plain. With bright colors and a lovely shine. I quietly coil and slither, my prey I bite or smother. Around tree branches I often entwine. With a long forked tongue I smell, I've no limbs or ears as well. It's amazing to see me shed my skin. My deadly fangs don't miss, take it as a warning when I hiss. Pythons and venomous cobras are my kin. I swallow my food whole, be it eggs, a rabbit or mole. And then I keep quite a long fast. In your yard if you find me, please don't attack me, simply stay still and come and let me pass. Okay, lovely. So what did we learn? Snakes, okay, snakes are dangerous, okay, we don't run. Ah, when you see a snake, do you run? No. You must stand dead still, okay? You do not move and let the snake slither past, okay? It won't bother you. But if you run, it's going to chase you, okay? It will slither, okay? And they've got no legs, okay? And they lay eggs. And what do they like to eat? Yes, they like to eat mice and rats and birds and moles that's just their food even though you don't want the poor little mouse to be eaten that's what they eat okay all right let's go back to our snakes okay how are your snakes looking are they looking cool like mine how many have you made okay i have made this is my sammy snake so we'll count him as one sammy snake Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight snakes. How many do you have? Do you also have lots? Do you have big ones and small ones? K, 
Can you find the smallest snake? Which one is the smallest one? Is it this one? No? Yes, it's this one. It's the smallest one. Can you find the biggest snake? Which one's the biggest one? Yes, this one. This is Sammy snake. He's the biggest snake. We get lots of different types of snakes. We get big fat pythons and you get anacondas and some are very long and some are small and some don't actually even hurt you. You get some garden snakes. They don't even hurt you. But we're never sure if they're going to hurt us or not. So we must always just stand still and not try and touch them. Okay, that's for the snake catchers. They'll come and catch them and set them free. Okay, there's all our snakes. Did you have fun making all your snakes? Okay, good job. You can put all your snakes away now. If you're still busy, that's fine. I want to get my other snake picture out. Okay, I'm going to put all of mine away. Do you have your snake picture ready? Okay, here's mine. Okay, you also want one, Shiloh? Okay, we are going to decorate our snakes. Would you like to color them? Put stripes on them? Remember, in the song, they told us the snakes have either patterns on their skin and they've got scales or they're just plain. So you can make your snake however you want. Okay, I'm going to put some stripes on mine, I think. And remember, we're going to cut this when we're done. We're going to cut the snake along the lines. Okay, I'll show you how in a minute. Let's decorate our snake picture. There we go. Okay, how does a snake slither? Do you know? Okay, let's go up. Let's go to, the, to this camera at the top. And I want you to have a look at me. Okay, we're going to slither. Are you ready? Let's slither. Show me how a snake slithers. Use your hands, just your hands. Good job. Okay, let's go back to our pictures and we can color in. Okay, you can do stripes. You can color in little bits. Okay. And you can do different colors or you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm doing some squiggles on mine. Okay. And some snakes actually just blend in to the ground or into the tree. So you don't actually see them. You don't know it's a snake. It looks like a tree or a leaf or it just looks like the ground. So they'll be brown. Or they'll be green if they're in the tree. Okay, let's do some orange. I'm going to do, my snake's going to be colorful. With some spots. Okay, there we go. Are you decorating nicely? Now I'm going to make some Squiggles. We're going to do some patterns just now. So make sure you've got all your different colors and you're going to copy my patterns. Okay. Beautiful. Look at all the colors. Okay. And if you want to do a bit of coloring in, you can. Color, color. Decorate your snake. Okay, do some spots. Okay, and you can color in the snake eyes if you want. Okay, how is your snake looking? Is it looking nice? Okay. I'll give you a few minutes to catch up and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to cut the snake out, but you must make sure to cut it in the correct place. 
because if you cut it, anywhere else is going to go, it's going to be cut into pieces, okay? You have to follow the line. So we're going to cut here, around, and round. Okay, we want the snake to coil. Okay, this is how it coils. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, get your scissors out when you're ready. Don't worry, I'll give you time to catch up. Okay, we're going to cut around. If you want to cut this um, piece off, it will be a good idea because you don't want to have extra paper sticking to your snake. Okay. Okay, so we can cut the outside. Can you see I'm cutting around there? Just so that we have just the snake. So you're going to cut your circle. I'm just following the lines. If you follow the lines too, then your snake will work out nicely. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Do your best. Remember, I'm turning the paper. Turning the paper. Okay, so you don't need this bottom piece here. We just want the snake. So you can cut out that circle and you can get rid of this paper. Okay, now you need to follow the lines here. Carefully, otherwise the snake will be in little pieces. We want the snake to coil. Okay, are you cutting or are you still coloring? There we go. Lovely. Can you see how my snake is starting to coil? Look there. Okay. It's going round and round like a spring. Okay, so take your time. Cut around. See, I'm just following the lines and I'm cutting around. Okay, are you done with yours, Shiloh? Almost. Almost. <laughs> okay, so just keep following the lines and just keep cutting just on the lines and then your whole snake will coil. Whee! It's, can you see how long it is? And it bounces. Okay, look at my snake. Okay, can you see how he coils? And if you lift him up, because that's how snakes stand up, don't they? They don't have legs, so they stand up like this. Okay, and then they warn you, and they hiss. Okay, okay, and how do the snakes move? Hmm? They slither because they don't have legs. Okay, they slither, but they're very, very strong. Okay, can you see? So you're going to have a fun snake to play with today. And if you even want, you can glue a piece of a stick over here and hold the stick. And then your snake can sit on the stick. Can you see how he's all bouncy? Lots of fun, hey. Okay, good job. Shall we learn about some snakes a little bit more? Would you like to see some real snakes? <gasps> Would you like to? No, yes, okay. <laughs> Let's go to look at our snakes. Today, we're looking at slippery snakes. Snakes have no legs, so they slide around on their Oh, <gasps> Look at that big snake. That would be hard, but it doesn't slow snakes down. They are great climbers and swimmers. And you won't see snakes in the fruit and vegetable store. That's because they're carnivores, which means they eat meat like small animals. For example, rodents, birds, frogs, and other reptiles. I hope you chew your food well. Snakes can't, so they have special jaws to swallow their food whole. They also have a great armor of hard scales to protect them. They like to keep their armor shiny, so they shed their skin regularly, just like we change our clothes. 
Looking good, Mr. Snake. What other animals would you like to? Okay, so what did we learn? Snakes have scales and they shed their skins. Okay, so we change our clothes every day. When they grow, they don't buy new clothes. They shed their skin. Isn't that interesting, hey? Very, very interesting. And they swallow their food whole. So if you take a whole egg, they will eat that whole egg. They won't chew, okay? We need to chew our food because that's healthy and that's good for us. But snakes don't chew their food. Isn't that interesting, hey? And they slither, okay? And they're very, very strong, aren't they? Okay, let's do some more slithering. Okay, slither with me. I want to hear your snake. Good snake. Good job. Can you hiss like a snake? Good job. Wow, we. Okay, and that's how the snake moves, okay? And he goes from side to side and round. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so we did our snakes. We'll come back to our snakes now. Now, now do you have another piece of paper for me? I want you to copy my patterns. Okay, first of all, do you have anything around you that you can put maybe some extra paper? So the paper that we used, can you see the paper that we cut our snake out of? I want you to tear. Okay, are you ready? I want you to tear it into little balls for me. Okay. Not that one. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'll give you another one. Okay, so we're going to tear it into little balls. And we're going to put it on our paper. We're going to make a pattern with this. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, tear it. And I want you to put the balls in a row. Can you see what I'm doing there? Okay, tear it, and we're going to put them in a row, because I'll show you what we're going to do now. Keep tearing, and put the balls in a row. Okay, good job, everybody. Okay, we're just going to do two rows of balls. Okay, if we need more after that, we can. Okay, tear it. There we go. Lovely. Okay. And then you need one other paper to put it on. And you need some colors. Okay. I'm going to use a blue. So if you have a blue, that will be great. If you don't, it's absolutely fine. Okay. But I would like you to try and copy my patterns. Okay, can you see we're tearing and making little balls? Okay, so make sure your paper balls are in a line, more or less. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and out of the balls. Okay, watch. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so we're going under the balls, over, under, over, under, over. Can you try and copy that pattern for me? Okay, using your paper balls. Okay, good. Now I want you to take another color. If you have an orange, please get your orange. Use your orange for me. We're going to put a circle around our balls. Okay, orange. Orange, okay, another one, orange. Are you copying my patterns? Orange. Okay, can you see I'm using the balls to go around them? Good, I see you've got orange, lovely. I want you to try and copy my patterns. Draw around the balls so it looks like a circle. Can you see? Good job. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to move the balls down because we've used them for that, haven't we? Okay, move the balls down to the last, 
to the bottom of the page, not right at the bottom, just before the bottom. Okay, now we're going to try and do zigzags. Do you have a green color? Okay. So we're going to go down and in between the balls, up. We're going to make sharp mountains now. Down, in between the balls, up. Down, up. Okay, you see we're using the balls so you can see where to go. We're making like a zigzag, a sharp mountain. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Lovely. Okay. Do you have another color now? I want to use a black. Let's see if my black's working. Okay, now I want you to put a dot here. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, look, it looks like a little mountain, a little hill, a small one. Okay, and those can be our bubbles maybe. And those are the big sharp mountains. Okay, let's see if we can put the balls all at the bottom now. Okay, can you see all the balls at the bottom now of my? They're almost like triangles. Okay, now I want you to copy the line down, up. We're copying this line here down, up. Just do the best that you can down up can you see lovely would you like to make our circles even bigger okay i'm going to put a yellow around the orange circle so we've got our balls in the middle our orange and now we're going to do a yellow so i want you to try and copy the colors if you don't have the exact same colors that's okay but if you do, please, can you use the same colors as I have here? So it's blue for the small mountains. Then it's orange circle, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Okay, are you able to, ca to copy my patterns? Are you? Okay, now I want you to close our two lines that we drew here. Close them. Oh, what shape have we made? What shape did we make? We made a triangle. Okay, can you get up quickly? Charlotte's going to do 20 jumps for us, star jumps. You need to get some energy out. Okay, are you ready, Shiloh? Show them how to do a star jump. So it's open, close. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Very nice. Are you nice and tired now? <laughs> You've got to make sure that you do some jumping in between all your work, okay? You've got to get all that energy out so that your body has burned that energy and it's ready to work again. Okay, lovely. Come and sit down. <gasps> Deep breath in. <sighs> in again. <sighs> Good job. Lots of fun. Okay, you can take your balls off your paper now. Let's have a look at what we made today. Okay, we made our snake quail. Okay, and we learned that he's got no legs or arms and that he slithers around on the ground okay and he eats his food whole okay and what else have we learned snakes like to eat mice and rats and birds yes oh do you like to eat that no i don't like to eat that okay and snakes Hiss. Okay, we did Sammy Snake today. Remember Sammy Snake? I want to just get my Sammy Snake for you. Okay, all these, all the snakes are on top of him. Okay, we did our Sammy Snake today. Sammy Snake. 
Okay, and the snake has got a forked tongue, okay? So it looks like that. Okay, and what do we do when we see a snake? Do we go, ah, a snake? No, we don't do that. Okay, we stand dead still. And we let the snake crawl past like that, okay? All right, we did Sammy snake and we built all our little snakes. Okay, that was lots of fun to build all our snakes. And we even did some patterns. Okay, and we did big snakes and small snakes because snakes come in different sizes, don't they? And different colors, okay. And they've got how many eyes? Can you remember? Two eyes, correct. Okay, they've got two eyes. And what have they got on their skin? What is, what's on their skin? Start with a s scales, okay? And they protect their skin. And what kind of animals are they? Start with a r r r reptiles. Yes, okay. They are reptiles. And we don't need to be scared of them. They're actually really beautiful. If you hold a snake, remember the snakes came to visit us. Do you remember that? And we held all the different snakes, the big snakes. You don't need to be scared of them, okay? But you don't, you mustn't touch them unless we are at, remember the snakes came to visit us and the lady knew what she was doing. She looked after the snakes. She knows how to handle them. And she showed us all the different snakes. Remember, we saw the big fat python. Remember Stacy held it? Do you remember that? And the little snakes, okay, and they come in all different colors, brown, black, and sometimes they blend in with the environment. So in the tree, if they're green, you won't see them, hey? Okay, they're hiding, all right, that's called camouflage, okay, lovely. So that is what we learned today, lots and lots of fun. Next week, oh, we're going to have so much fun. We're going to visit the jungle. We're going to do some potato stamping. We're going to do onion stamping. So please, will you join me next week? Okay. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the lovely day today. The sun is shining. I want you to go and play outside. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you next week on Monday. Today is Friday. Okay, and tomorrow will be Saturday. Okay, let's see you on Monday. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.